happening now. Uh. All right, let's see if it, it started. Mm -mm -mm. Are we live and direct? I think we're starting. We're live and direct. Fantastic. AJ, AJ live and direct. Come on. Live, live in the flesh. The live in the flesh. Live in the flesh. On a Friday. On a Friday on afternoon. Friday. On a Friday yeah. lockdown. Lockdown Friday. Can you imagine? How many lockdown Fridays have we had since? Yeah, literally. How many? <laughs> Oh, we've had Last honestly year. like total like this is like I think we've done mileage, we've done actual serious <laughs> mileage. Serious mileage. These yeah. these same four walls for a year. This is yeah, 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 yeah. Mileage. Oh wait, we got we got a new we got uh, we got a new one here. Let's see if she's ready. <laughs> she's <laughs> new for a shock. What are people saying in the yeah. comments? Who's here? Yeah. Shay Shay. Oh she here? Yeah. <laughs> hey girl! Hi guys! How's it going? So can you guys hear me? Yeah! Look at this! She blew up a tree and now she got a new apartment. Trust me. <laughs> oh! Apartment, you said it. You got a soul. New settings. <laughs> <laughs> she went viral, just got the coins quickly and cut off the new apartment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awful. Absolutely awful. Can you guys hear me though, yeah? Mm hmm yeah. yeah. So you the tweet, tweet deleted, it's gone. Yeah, I deleted it because I was like, it's it's it was just too it was too much stress. Like I was like, yeah. because it was like like when it ended up on that um American Jade. page, I was like, yeah, do you know what? Because my that American page is basically a step before Shade Room. I was mm. like, I am not trying to be on the Shade Room with this nonsense. Like, uh uh, I don't want it. So I had to delete that real quick. Real <laughs> quick. Yeah, you need to, you need to give, context. Well, give, con give people context about what, how we got, what happened. So I guess um, I tweeted, <laughs> just mentioned, oh God, it's so stupid, but I tweeted about um, the new um, Fred Hampton film with Daniel Kalula. And basically I was just saying that when, there's been a lot of chat over the years about British actors, you know, acting as Americans and, you know, from Samuel L. Jackson to, I don't know, countless other people just saying things. And it's never, it, I get the argument, but it doesn't always feel like the most positive either. It feels slightly like, why are you taking our roles-esque type of thing. Mm. So my question was just like, how comes Eddie Murphy and Will Smith are allowed to, you know, act as what they deem as African. Um, and no one said anything. It's like, oh my God, amazing. But the minute Daniel Kalula decides to do something, everyone is like, and Daniel, Dr. Umar was an example, but Dr. Umar will be like, you haven't even got an African accent, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this guy is actually from Uganda. Like, so how can you come for him? And that's what I was saying. I didn't even, the thing is, I didn't even phrase it like that. I literally phrased it very basic. Before I knew it, Americans want to kill me. Like, not even all Americans, but it was like split down the middle. It came into like some diaspora thing. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm not even starting a war. I'm just talking, you know? So it was just too intense because people. Say that again? You started your own end game. <laughs> yeah. Literally, because it was too much. And I was just like, I can't with the stress and the, the insults of. It wasn't even people insulting me like that. It was more so just. What do you mean? Like, y'all need to stop hating. Oh my God, you're lying. You know how Americans be. So I'm just like, all right, cool. Like, let me just mm. bow out of this argument because I don't want to get involved. <laughs> like, I don't want it. So, yeah. So the thing is, everyone's going to have different Bad. takes as well. So it's like, if you try and, like, you can't argue with everyone, basically. There's just so many different takes happening at once. So it's like, you can't, you can't win that battle. Yeah. So, yeah, I would delete it as well, to be honest. Yeah. No. It's impossible. So mm. that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna force it. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. But I'm like, everyone's black. End of the day, so I just feel like I'm a person where it's like, whoever's got the best, um, the best skills for a certain job, what's the problem? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, if Daniel Kaluuya mm. is the best actor as Fred Hampton, what's the problem? But I get their argument as well. So yeah. But anyway. Shay was going global mileage, <laughs> but apart from that, how's everyone? How's everyone's day been? 
Yeah, I've had a banging day. I felt good. Uh, I had a performance with my young people today, so I feel good, feel happy, feel blessed to make work at this time. And mm -hmm. I've got a rosé that I've, I've started nursing. What are you guys nursing over there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The rain oh. cranberry. Mm. A glass of wine. From the Zim Zim. Two. Yeah. Wow. Soul. A soul. A soul. A soul. Um, yeah, I've just got uh, on rotation. I got Echo Falls on one, and then a uh, Copperberg on the other. So. Wonderful. Oh wow. Mix and match. Mix and match. Mix and match. No, okay. Well, British summertime vibe. British summer. Yeah, British, British, summer. British summer. British summer. Look a bit of summer. But how's everyone doing? Like, shout out to everyone that's on the live at the moment. Where are you? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And as well, guys, this is Slow Lounge. And if you haven't forgotten, you didn't know, even if we were on tour, Docky Series episode six, Sun City is dropping at 6 p.m. GMT and 8 p.m. South African time. So literally right after this live, the link's on our, on our homepage. You can go and check out our time in Sun City. Okay. Sun, City. Sun, City. Sun, City. Sun City drops at the time where I'm to America because like, for me, that place of the real life, <laughs> coming to America, kingdom, like when you look at the palace place, like mm. just the architecture, it oh, feels like yeah. a thing. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah definitely guys check that. I remember I said the same thing when I when I got there. I said it reminds me of coming to America in terms of this. It's the palace. It's the Sun City Palace. It's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The palace. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Um, would love to go back. So yeah, <laughs> memories. Um, but the slow lunch. Um, today we have got a, an amazing guest. Um, someone who I think we all love. We, we we came across her in 2017, um, and I think we were just instantly captured by like her style, her uniqueness. Um, it was just like we were just all captivated. And um, she's an amazing artist, global, international con <laughs> connections all aboard. Like <laughs> she's doing her thing. Um, guys, I want you to welcome, bless you, give her a lot of love to her. An amazing. Are you there, Moonchild? Can you hear us, Moonchild? Yeah, boy. Yeah, I like the <laughs> Will you say Mincha? Sorry, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. Sometimes we, we're not catching it. Is my audio Is that my laptop? Let me see. Let's see. You did? It's back on. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Moonchild, your setup's amazing. Pardon? It's, your, it's your amazing. Your setup is amazing. The back. Who did that of you? Oh my god. Who did that of you? My my close friend. Oh. My um. No oh. is a crazy. Painter. It's fantastic. Well, painting both. It's fantastic. It's so lovely. Yeah, okay. it's amazing. How how are you doing, Moonchild? How's everything been? I mean, it's fantastic. But I, 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 I mean, can everyone hear each other? I'm just hearing background noise. Yeah, there's just a lot of background noise. It's very strange. Yeah, Is someone playing on the back? Yeah. I stopped mine. Oh, oh okay, you stopped cool. I stopped okay, mine. Cool. Oh, I'm getting a little bit. Hold on. Let me try work this. I think, I mean, right now you're the clearest, right? I'm the clearest. 
Yeah, are you the host? Yeah, I'm the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. With the network. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. But I say, how, how are you doing, Moonchild? I'm excited because lockdown, I've been recording since the first and so I'm ready to drop my album. Um, I got signed to Transgressive in the UK. Yeah, in, yeah. Down last year as well. And my team's literally been growing globally just so that I can fuck shit up um, with my album. And I'm super excited about that because it's the first time I'm not pushing it as an independent. Um, I'm pushing mm. it with backing behind me. That's not even trying to hinder um, my message or my image or my mind in any way yeah yeah so i mean like a, a great space it feels like this is what i fought for all my life because the conversations we have with the label are just like the ideal thing i always wanted and yeah. we always said it's unreal but here we are i am very very excited so i mean i could be traveling but the world is not all i mean not all the world is open right now, so we're waiting um, hopefully like uh in terms of flying out like <laughs> we obviously want to try come back to sa <laughs> <Yeah. December. laughs> oh we can't man uk uk is like a blacklist we're like the blacklist of the world. <laughs> we're banned, banned. literally we're bad for like hmm? we're like banned from like li literally every part of the world <laughs> at the moment <laughs> Mm. Yeah, isn't it for well, most of the time um the uk theory isn't what sorry um covid yeah 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 so like in terms of covid here it was like it was really bad at a certain point it got bad like at the start of this year and then it started to go down but um i, I just think because of like all these variants are coming up in the uk it's like we we are just seen as like reading of that new variants <laughs> Because I was on tour when I was, I was literally in Australia when we had to come back down like mm. two weeks. Back. And I remember UK um, were all like, I oh, know it's not a thing, it's just a conspiracy theory. So <laughs> uh, the mindset in because that people were, because people didn't fear it, therefore they didn't take the precautions on at the, at the time those who were. So what uh, the precautions that we've been told people to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Was, I'm just. It was a joke for them. Like at the start, it was just like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not gonna come here. It's like uh, I mean, Boris Johnson's like, I'm shaking everyone's hands, and like it was just all of this, <laughs> and then yeah, it hit us hard. But uh, hopefully, I mean, I, I think this summer we should be able to go at least some places. I feel. Um, yeah. Um, because I think that they're, they're doing the vaccines now, so we, I we'll see. We'll see how it goes in there. Yeah, let's see who makes it first. If I'm there first, are you there? Are, are you <laughs> <laughs> well, um, firstly, I just wanted to say, um, obviously we'll talk about your EP, but congratulations on the new um, reality Woo! show. Amazing. <laughs> um, are you able to talk to us about that? What, what's gonna, what, what can we expect to see on a show? I think it's, it's called What's Up? Yes. She doesn't even know how busy you are. She can't even keep up with herself. She can't keep up with all the dummies. Well, because it's like um, I'm not necessarily highlighting a lot of my brain. I am highlighting a lot of what I sold on Instagram. So that's front of me, and therefore it gives me time to explore outside of me, whether it's through a documentary, a movie, or a book, to still show off. So there's still like so there's so many sides. So much more of my fun side and i do show a bit of side because all the things that i can afford to do with the fun comes from my hustle works um mm. so it's just my brain beyond my back because uh that's a whole thing in essay and um i'm excited but i'll definitely be twerking on every single episode where i give people <laughs> and it also gives them a little bit of me without ever making them sad. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. But there's some intention 
it's, it's um i remember like literally two days ago i recorded another episode this was like busy intense episode there was no way i could act this one from the morning mm. and i couldn't go shoot the next day i had to take a day off and then i went back to shoot basically today because i was just like i just need to tap out of that because i've gone past that already but i had to revisit and even see the person that mm. was a part of it so it was just like a lot i was expecting it and it's a part it's a side i did want to show you know yeah yeah and is this like i guess it's it's, a, it's like a, a step in something new for you isn't it like it's not like i don't you because i mean in terms of you as a person and always seeing you being sort of bubbly and yeah. sort of like just so show much so much love and so i guess is this like you kind of like opening up and sort of now sort of breaking down like moon child behind the music or um it is me opening up and also basically showing you the root um of my liberation mm. and understanding instead of just rejecting because of insecurities because of um what you've been taught because of do you know what i mean it's so many different reasons why you would get someone without understanding outside of those that choose to mm. and i think this to be a thing really south africa doesn't even question they just are they just love me and in SA it's still working that whole thing of like remembering people and re I mean remembering that we are power that we are original remember we do pioneer things and we should be able to celebrate ourselves and in 1994 that really was who was brought up by which parent who grew up in which state so mm -hmm. not necessarily born free and the difference that will be created with regards to in the power to be better adults and know that um being questioned is or being called a black sheep is actually people telling you your magic they just don't know how to react to you so there's so many different i actually don't even remember the question because i'll literally go <laughs> 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 no, I think I think personally that really sums up your personality quite well. I feel like you're you're obviously very independent and sort of very you have an idea of what you want to achieve. So for me, I'd love to kind of know in terms of your musical journey, like how did you sort of get from the start to now in terms of obviously your your bubbly personality, your hair, all of these things. Like how is that an important aspect for your your um, artistry? Um, I feel like I mean, first thing is my image was never business move it was mm. someone who studied fashion and could create things that i could see um me being famous with the hair is something taught me about branding even later on because whether i was or not i'd look like this because always been so mm. my first thing is teaching the black child to go not go rewrite things when they are because there's no uniform to success mm. and achieving these these things that even where i come from they tell me is not a reality um i still confirm to the black child to go rewrite their dreams because everything's possible and they are enough because the best person you can be yourself and instead of just preaching that like everything else that puts me under pressure instead of questioning my identity because the world already does i want to instill that black ship is actually like the matrix of this motherfucking Shit. when they dim you so they just don't know how to deal with you and therefore to break because the if you conform they have no problem it's like it's like a ted talk um child so one of the things that I, I wanted to touch on obviously when you were out there we um got to spend some time with you um like briefly so i think it was that sunday roast and um i think it was one 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 night it was a weird night i remember we like what happened i think we were just planning to go out and i think we saw you the before. and then i think the, the, the bus pulled up outside is it montana or yeah well we went all the way up in it i remember yeah, we opened the door and then we just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. 
I can't remember. What was this? What was this? We went, we went inside. It was like a mall or something. And then we went all the way up. And then we got in. And then there was like girls, like girls, like parading on the table. And it was already late. Oh. It was like five in the morning or something. So we oh. turned and we see Moon Child. <laughs> <laughs> Having the best time ever. It was so fun. It was like, it was lit. But I wanted to ask, like, what, what in, ter- in terms of, like, going out in SA, like, what would you recommend for, like, people that want to come to SA? Like, what are the two top spots, like, whether it be Johannesburg, Durban, Cape? What would you recommend, like, you need to go when you come to SA? In Johannesburg, I would say Moja Cafe. Oh, we never got- we oh. didn't go. We didn't, we didn't go. go. We didn't go. People have insulted us for not going. Like, we didn't go. It isn't- it's like, who are your friends? <laughs> we were meant to go, there's a Sunday or Monday we were meant to go and I can't remember what happened, but we just, something happened and we did, couldn't end up going, but yeah. That's one for the list. That's one for the yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that's <laughs> like, oh, your government is branching out for a little bit so that you can expect, like, it's popping. And you're right, Sundays and Mondays is always free. I mean, the weekend will pop because people will be out, but Sunday is Monday. Pop, pop. Oh. And in, oh, another one is, so, you feel me? I say go to the Summit Strip Club. In, make sure you book a table so security gets you. Not so friendly outside, amazing outside, because you go to any strip club in Dover and that is like the summit. Unfortunately, girls are not so well paid. I mean, they have their own clients that have which is what I always teach. Um, but for free, it's not a bar. Hmm. Everyone's on duty. Hmm. But like, the girls are very like when I give their all because the other bars they're expensive and it's, it's like going to work for nothing, you know. So the summit on the weekend, I'll take it. Please Come take back. us. We yeah. need to go. I saw Ian's face. Sorry, I just want to put him up. I see what he's saying. Yeah, I can see it. I need to be there. I need to be there. <laughs> Ian's face. 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 Huh? Just away from the music, like what does Moonshard get up to on like her average day? What does she What does she like to do for people that want to get to know you a bit more? Well, I studied fashion, so mm-hmm. every day I don't have to clothes daily. After an hour, depending on my mood, I'll make it. Mood changes well, and I'll go find something my mood changes well. That and have yeah. one extra. The day I'm in the mood for it because I never I'll stop with an hour. I'll literally take down this curtain and make my mood. So, I mean, it's a privilege that I've had in terms of dating my brand because it's never been a budget based, it's always been like a thing. And when I say of budget, so it's, really, it's really helped in branding me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, can everyone hear me, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right, because I'm scared to talk because my internet has just been getting... Oh, <laughs> and trying to me, so I'm going, oh, I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? Um, <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of speak to you about, because the other day, so obviously, Getz's album, Conflicts of Interest, came out, and... I saw, I, I tweeted this, I was like, I, I need to tell people this, innit? Because people were talking, um, I saw people in the UK being like, um, oh, this Mozambique song, da 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 And obviously it felt like people were, a lot more people were being exposed to who you are um, due to that song. And I was like, you know, you need to give me and child her flowers because mm-hmm. sis has been putting in work for a minute. This ain't no first <laughs> single type of first song thing. But um, what it was, what was amazing about it was that people got to see someone that was South African and linking up with someone like Getz and making yeah. such, I think it's probably one of the best songs on the album. Yeah. Um, talk to me about like that experience with working with like Getz and like UK musicians and stuff like that. 
Oh my god! So I think I'm literally the collaboration flat because <laughs> to grow myself is always collaborate with people that I love or I go to love because that they've got an impact. So with network, it's only like a strategic thing. How do you so I know it's not just you know, it's, but I need to plan during it. That's why I constantly go to the same. Place. Mm -hmm. So him it was such an easy thing in the i people know of how far and record and i saw him in creation um in job when we were doing the damon album um i forget and so it was crazy how we were both backing out about fast we were i'm like over me and it was just like natural things where it's like because i also type of not really a rapper but i take from that in my dance music rap. and so since then when i came when my, my they couldn't make it yeah 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 yes when i came um one of those one of the next um I just called him on time, yo, I'm so hooked. And then he's like, I was like, I'm putting up, pulled up, I recorded, no idea. So, <laughs> as a single, and the response as well, it literally felt like my day um, as a, a in Durban, as a hook writer, in urban with like um deep, uh hip hop artists so it made it gets same time I knew was so with the skill that I've summarized and not write too deep about I guess I still did that because I move maneuver mm. making some but I remember getting just feeling so comfortable but I didn't remember that. And uh, so you can imagine this challenge on TikTok, and it's almost a million um, people having. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? In the and those kind of <laughs> thank God for social media because while you're locked down, you're still happy somewhere in another country every day. Well, I'm gonna drop a single here while you focus. Like it's 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 so nice, but it's yeah. like things of what planned and structured your to be like but when it gets like way, way bigger than what you so you called it so that was magical that was magical because it felt felt like home it felt, it felt like when i was homeless i was still crushing ahead and didn't worry about who's gonna say what when i how far I was going. It just felt so. Cool. Yeah. Everything else about this, I was never ready. Maybe because I mind feeling so comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's so many, but it felt like home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like you've you know you've done a couple collaborations which have kind of been like really big and I think I mean I'm sure you can, you've been asked in the past and stuff like that but I mean girl you did some you did a song with Beyonce I'm sorry can you ever like <laughs> 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 I'll ask you a video I'll ask you a video not big as fuck man come on oh my god that was crazy because it had been happening for such a long time and even I was going through the fact that I wrote this thing down. Um, Gorillas, Diplo, Beyonce. I wrote them as my three that are going to be just my tenure, but I need to keep moving them into my next tenure. So, for it to happen, I feel like that was the beginning of my It's just like, what the f like, the, like, my oyster because I wrote it 
I write and believe, and I take sooner than I thought. But it mm. was, and therefore, I it was crazy. I could actually fuck up. I signed the non disclosure, baby, a month or less than a month before the song came out. Also, project with regards to writing hope, um, melody, and like stuff to different songs. I didn't even know which song I was gonna make it. I've also never been that much pressure without anyone saying, yo, you're under pressure. But I knew this is, do you realize this? There's my people with money that will never work with Beyonce. And they've got more money, like a moment of being chosen. And then being chosen with your best friend, that's even more, because we don't have any. So that whole year working on this project, I am quiet. The studio where this producer is sharing the stuff. Um, the voices like auto tune and everything when no one even if it's picked by mistake, no one what is going on. It was a project when I saw power without you know. Um then the worst part the best part seeing her in acting. Um I mean the first thing I said to her when I met her I was like, Oh shit, it's a shot. <laughs> like it it was just like it was it was the first words that I uttered. It just laughed at me. She already had character, so it, <laughs> crazy. Um, the easiest thing. I mean, I signed that non-disclosure for uh, for security and all that. I was I ever ever gonna say I love I'm to be shading or putting unnecessary pressure. Even I remember even the news about um how do I feel. Like the other kind of Mother Teresa. She's not save Africa. She's here to collect the ones that are to her ear. So Africa is being celebrated. What people do outside of that, they can sit and bask in that one moment of greatness, or they can capitalize because of that moment. So do with the access that you have and whatever opportunity you've been given and me let me tell you something i'm never going to be poor again gun like ever 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 never Self to fall back on rebuke the you know? spirits of brickness that's what we do rebuke it i mean for you me to have you guys so you comment and i was like okay cool great. on twitter guess what yeah so my dreams are never bigger than my, the, my ego is never bigger than my dreams. It's always me growing myself. Guys, are you still oh. on? Yeah. I'm still on. Sorry, not... I'm just working on the audio, but we're still on, we're still on. Can you guys hear That's... me on my side? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. We still oh, here. Can I say hi? I hello. I. <laughs> so Moonchild, quick I. question. You did talk to me. Um, we, we did a. I think the first time we saw it was um when we did a reaction to the song Midnight Staring. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you saw that video of us, what did you think of us as like? <laughs> of that one? You're like, what the hell are these UK kids doing? Or <laughs> I mean, I loved the shock i saw before you even used your words to describe what you were seeing shock value for me is one of uh, it's, it's part of my drug so you've noticed and it's such a short part and it's towards the end and you guys are like what the fuck? and then your descriptions were whatever but i knew in that moment because even when i came from poetry and and Nicki Minaj came out after years of me doing what I do in my colors and my expression the way I've been. Mm. It's a way of people finally accepting a part. They saw someone else strange in the main media. And so whenever now I've had compassion, I, I don't get offended. Um, I just know that your description what you get from me what it exists. But know me so it was like i just saw when i speak even before you spoke i already knew i touched you that's why i could holler at you 
Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's dope, man. Because for us, it was like, because um, in the UK, that like, we're primarily exposed to like music from like Nigeria and Ghana, so we didn't know much too much music about from South Africa. So like, you were one of the first in which we learned about. The same. Sorry. It was literally my first info in the mainstream. Because I'd already had um, artists, and at that point, I was. I, I, I felt like if they couldn't pay me anymore because I was now performing as the only black, as the only girl on main stages with Afrikaans artists because I'm electronic mm -hmm. and I needed more again. So when I strategized, I wrote down in 2016, I'm going to have three hits in one year by end of, by August 2016. It all of that happened in 2017. I did have three hits in one year, but you literally, your first video of, um, your first commentary video was my first breakout in the mainstream in mm -hmm. SA. Wow, look at that law of attraction, guys. Sorry, can I just say that <laughs> law of attraction is serious? <laughs> we need to do this. Well done, you child. It's, it's so real. amazing. It's real. It's real. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, like um. Can you hear me? What's the yeah. news? Okay. I realized this thing from something so silly when I was pregnant in two thousand and. End of 2007 to 2008, I was so broke. Then I had a, a lazy mind as well. So I had a baby while pregnant. And so I remember having a book and because I wrote poetry, I was a poet at the time and I was doing the backing of jazz musicians and stuff. Um, I'd write down everything that I'll have by end of day. And then it'll come, it'll come to life. I'll have, by end of day, I've eaten everything. So I noticed this thing consistently, like, Everything I write comes Come to life. Pass. Yeah. Then I remember then the secret came out. The yes, please tell everybody about <laughs> this. Tell <laughs> them. See, I'm like, wait, I've been doing this shit. Hold mm. the secret mm. because anything I just wrote and ticked the boxes. So then I went back to myself because I never, I was like, okay, so I'm already doing this. Thanks for the affirmation. Hmm. Went back. I was like, so if I've gotten everything, why don't I write things that are bigger? And that's basically where I started believing in the power of manifestation. Hmm. So I'm wanting a custard slice by end of the <laughs> in rands and I didn't have a rants to myself. And I'd have all that dessert by end of day. All my cravings will be fulfilled. I would have hustled away or somehow it would have come. I was like, man. Oh, you, right. got me, you got me thinking, man. Spirit yeah. Busted. So <laughs> <I need that. laughs> hmm. For instance, I think people don't understand the that Bashiri song, right? There's yeah. this uh, from Namibia. Mm. Um, Vinduk, Vinduk Namibia, yes. From Namibia. And he's bash is is bushiri. So I played on that for so there's no defamation of character. But everyone knew everyone knows who it's about. So and after I dropped the song, right? And everything I had said was me being a hypocrite and playing the character of someone in believes in the spirit, but they're basically paying a person. And that thing of reminding people of like so I was being sarcastic because it's like the power is in your hands. If your man is cheating, he left you, he came back, you get the first day, got baptized. Great, but there's still a thing. So I think that or player that's gonna pay. Or are you gonna go pay for a shrink that exists in the physical life to actually talk about it and decide whether you're staying or you're not? So that thing of undermining your own power and believing in someone, hence it's called Bashir mm -hmm. Resolve. Because the song is banging, um, and only when I do interviews I can explain. But because I talk shit so much, they think it's just a funny story. But it is funny, that's my take on it. But it's just like, the power's in your hands. Change mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And yeah. just a quick question as well, Moonchild. So like, um, I know because obviously our, our new episode is coming out at six o six o'clock UK time at Sun City. Have you have you been Sun City like in terms of a resort um, in SA? I've been to Sun City. 
I went to Sun City the first year because my album had come out 20, 2015 or 2014. Mm. And when I went there, I was, get, I was selling my CD. I was with my label. I was with an independent label at the time. Mm. And so we went there. And my whole thing was like, I'm going there to lay the carpet so I'm nominated the next year to win. Mm. And the following year, I got nominated. But then that's when I I had been booked in France and I was going to start touring overseas and I'd worked so hard on this and independent. So I chose to travel instead of stay because I was already nominated. And the funny thing mm -hmm. is that I was told that if I leave, I'm not going to win. So I left going for my future instead of my today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I know we we got we we when we went there we were just like in amazing like wow this place because it's so funny like when you go there it's like it's in you'd think you just travel on this road for such a long time and then you just come up to this place it's like a massive yeah like, <laughs> massive resort in the middle of like everything I mean in terms of like places maybe you stayed in SA like what because I know we when we obviously we were there I think we were trying to sort of work out what is our favorite city. Um, and I know a lot of us sort of toss up, like, you know, obviously Johannesburg for the vibe or Cape Town for the scenery. Like, what is your kind of take on, like, what cities work best in terms of, I um, mean, say, and what, what do you go for in that kind of thing? I like, I like, like, I like greens. Because I come from Port Elizabeth, so we've got a beach, so it's not necessarily a thing for us can literally be at home for a year, do everything but not go to the beach because it's always there. Yeah. So I went to Durban Beach as well. So I kind of already know the vibe. So when I know there, I know that <clears throat> there might be a vibe, there might not be a vibe. I like going out, I, I don't just like being by the beach because it's not necessarily a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I like greens and stillness. Even when I was writing um, my album, I I put an Airbnb, got the engineer there, bought all the studio stuff, and just were we were like far greens and stillness because I'm always in a busy space, mm. and I being in a busy space because I've got too much energy to waste. Um, but when it comes to the creativity, I because I mean with the singles, I literally make music on the spot. So with the album, I wanted to and go through like different sounds and not just focus on because i've never just focused on one um territory so so i'm going to be dropping a single very soon while i finish the album and i've got like collaborations mm. the craziest people i'm osama bin laden's daughter so i like dropping bombs when the album <laughs> drops. so it's maybe got some crazy <laughs> Okay, and I'm crossing fingers for some more. I've got some singles. Um, uh, dope, crazy people from the UK. Really? Yes. yes. So I'll drop them exclusives. Yeah. You, yes. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> and then got um some crazy stuff from Grammy nominated uh, producers. Yes, as well, like recent stuff. Not like R&B 1997, you know? <laughs> yes. I bring. So it's the craziest moment. And I'm, I'm, it's the craziest moment. It's like I'm showing all of what every other part of the world have gravitated to. It's just like all in that. And... Mm -hmm. I'm just excited. It's gonna be a crazy one. Mm. One aspect I have to mention though is when we when we went to Sun City, there was like because I feel like in SA there's a lot of hidden gems. Mm -hmm. So Sun City, there was Rustenburg, which for me I didn't know anything about that area until we actually went there. Because there was a period where we left the hotel in Sun City and it was like a, what an hour an hour drive almost to get there. Okay. So, so, yeah. yeah, and as we went there. It was like we were surprised by like the amount of culture, like the music. Like, have you have you been to Rustenburg before? Like, what can you tell people about the actual area itself? I don't know much about it, but I've played there, and usually you're oh, traveling. Yeah. Nap, sound check, get ready, perform, party out. Mm. So 
I just know that there's a lot of people with who don't like the fast life and they feel it's close enough. They are missing it, but far enough for people to not say I was in the area. Mm. Makes perfect makes perfect sense. Um, but Moonchild, obviously, I know you said you got an uh, sort of EP album dropping soon. Is there a date that you've got, or is there no date at the moment? Still working on. Because I'm still crossing fingers for some collaborations. Okay. I've made about I think since beginning since last year I've made about. 34, 36 complete songs. Okay. Um, I want to make 50, then I'll choose from there. Wow. Make more, but I want to make 50. But now it's crazy because I haven't been, because I've been recording in the studio once a week since then. And now because of the show, we're literally shooting every day. And I'm shooting tomorrow and I'm shooting today as well. I'm shooting every day. This morning, tonight. <laughs> Fucked up with some shit unless that studio episode i mean that studio session is part of the episode but that's only for because they can't even play the music i'm recording in the studio so they can only be in studio with me for collaborations meaning i still don't have time for my shit mm. and i by the time i come back because then i've also got clothes to make every day for my looks and i have to maintain my my vibes i have to go research but i haven't been able to go clubbing to research trends but it's not necessarily a train smash because I always create my own stories and chants from real life experiences. And that's what I've done in the past, but mm. it's always to know who is now out there and their consistency and um, whether it's to capitalize now or later for a single, but for us, also don't want to be fucking with someone new without knowing what's next from them, if they're going to maintain the first thing. So there's that part of it. So I still have to do my, Clubbing, hmm. mm. don't yeah. we all do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to do that. next two to three, I will start airing on MTV from the 15th of March. Excited, it's amazing. It's, amazing. Uh, it's just like, yeah, let me just finish and then focus on that. But I might be okay, I can't talk about it, but. <laughs> 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 Honestly, um, thank you so much, Moon Child. Um, I think this conversation has been so insightful. Um, yeah. like you know, you've been dropping so much gems, and honestly, we look forward to um, the new uh, project. Um, I know the last one, Thunder Thighs, was a hit, and we loved it. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, and guys, like obviously, as you said, um, even if we, um, if we on tour, episode six is dropping in literally less than t 10 minutes from now. Um, you can watch it, Sun City. And if you haven't watched the past episodes of Johannesburg, Cape Town and Durban, they're literally on our channel. You can go and watch them there. Um, but guys, thank you so much. Moonchild, thank you so much. And you. Like you said, we'll see We'll see who meets who first, whether it's us in SA or you here. Or you in the UK, <laughs> yeah. We shall see. Let us know. Yeah, all of you owe me a sex toy. If you come <laughs> as on a sex, oh, I'm gonna take you on a sex toy tour to a toy for each, for each other. Okay. <laughs> okay. We look forward. We look forward. We look forward. Okay. <laughs> all right, we Thank you, Thank you so Thank you much. much. And everyone, guys, <sighs> um, amazing chat with Moonchild. Um. I've enjoyed it so much, Gems, and the, the conversation will stay on the channel so you can always watch that back. And also, guys, um, Shekinah was on last week as well, so make sure you go and check that. And yeah, let's get ready for episode six of Ubuntu Tour at Sun City, guys. Until yes. next time, guys, we will catch you soon. Bye. Bye.